Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on September 14th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to a quick video here and a heads up space weather update. Looking at 304 angstroms, we did have a solar event heading our way. A coronal mass ejection just happened on the sun and it is in an earth facing position. Yesterday, we were observing the plasma filaments, really tall plasma filaments erecting from the northwestern side of the sun, and as well the long plasma filament that was stretching across the northern hemisphere, was hoping that it would stay in place, and it did not. And it is now headed towards us very fast. And we are all being, we are already being affected by the last few space weather events as we speak. So looking now at the sun, we do have the fiery regions in the southern region, southern hemisphere of the sun, two active sunspots, and as well two more on the left side, southern hemisphere, but lots of plasma all around the sun right now, very active in four corners. Another quick look here at the plasma filament eruption. Huge plasma arcs stretching across the sun, probably about the size of eight Earths stacked on top of each other. A little solar tornado there spinning. Looking at a multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the events over the last 48 hours on the sun coronal mass ejection, and as well, almost a C-class flare from yesterday. And the thunder is a-rolling through Ontario tonight. The storms are acting up again. Hopefully I don't lose power tonight. We had a quick power outage last night with the storms, and they've been popping up throughout the day and as well tonight. So expect that to continue overnight tonight here in Brantford and Ontario. Surrounding areas Kitchener and Northward will be getting hammered a little bit worse than Brantford is. But still lots of rain. Looking here at Iswa, showing the space weather event that is headed our way. Looks like the brunt of this solar storm is going to be heading at Earth and as well Stereo B. So stay tuned to the Daily Do. I'll give you guys a full world update yesterday or tomorrow. Yesterday I gave you guys the five-day forecast and as well the earthquake update. We did have a sizable 6.2 earthquake in South America today. San Antonio de Cobros, the very active and mystic region I've been following for years. Looking here at Lasco 2 and 3, the space weather event from today being orchestrated all around the center disk there. You can see when it comes out the sides and the bottom and all around, that is an Earth-facing event. Lasco 3 really lets you get a grasp of the, sh of the size of this solar storm and all of the accelerated plasma that was just ejected from the sun. Have a quick look here at the solar X-ray flux, and we are still steady at the B-class range. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated due to the incoming space weather and expected space weather. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 480 kilometers per second, we had a spike to 517, and over the last 48 hours here, you can see a very jagged north and south polarity, and as well, increased density. I'll leave you here looking at 171 angstroms on the sun, the last 48 hours of events, including coronal mass ejection, Earth-directed. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Thanks, everybody, for subscribing, sponsoring, memberships, 
super chats, and as well, overall, your love for our planet and humanity. See you guys tomorrow for the next video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now.